Many girls prefer hanging out with males because guys don't start drama, but they have never picked up a history book. By the way, who likes reading history books? The subject isn't bad though, but the content makes me don't want to look at it. But what if the content changes to Elon Musk and the history of its Tesla stock? Yeah, I see you guys finally getting ready to know some history, even if it is about Elon Musk. He has done many remarkable things, and his journey hasn't been an easy one. How do you think Tesla stocks changed over time? Want to know more about it? Stay tuned till the video. Welcome to Tesla Stock News. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on the ups and downs of the stock prices of Tesla or anything related to the multi-talented, influential tech icon and billionaire Elon Musk. Now, coming to its history, Tesla has often ignored its defeatists throughout its history. Lots of people are still wagering against the company, and its notorious CEO Elon Musk has had to prove his worth over and over again, en route to piloting the most valuable car maker in the world. But how did Tesla reach here? Tesla Inc., formerly Tesla Motors, is an American manufacturer of electric automobiles, solar panels, and batteries for cars and home power storage. Tesla Motors was created to develop an electric sports car. Eberhard was Tesla's chief executive officer and Tarpenning its chief financial officer. Financing for the company was achieved from a mixture of sources, most notably PayPal co-founder Elon Musk, who bestowed more than $30 million to the new endeavor and served as chairman of the company beginning in 2004. Initially founded in July 2003, Tesla didn't go public until seven years later in 2010. The company made its first public offering in the year 2010. On January 29, 2010, Tesla Motors filed Form S-1 with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission as an initial prospectus reflecting its ambition to file an IPO underwritten by Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, J.P. Morgan, and Deutsche Bank Securities. On June 29, 2010, Tesla Motors commenced its initial public offering on NASDAQ. 13.3 million shares of common stock were handed out to the public for $17 per share. The IPO brought up $226 million for the company. It was the first American car maker to go public since the Ford Motor Company had its IPO in 1956, and by 2014, Tesla had a market value half that of Ford. In 2008, Tesla Motors sent packing its first car, the completely electric Roadster. In company tests, it attained 245 miles on a single charge, a distance remarkable for the production of an electric car. Additional tests exhibited that its execution was comparable to that of many gasoline-powered sports cars. The Roadster could accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 4 seconds and could gain a top speed of 125 miles per hour. The lightweight car body was prepared with carbon fiber. The Roadster elicited no tailpipe emissions as it did not use an internal combustion engine. Tesla Motors found that the car fulfilled efficiency ratings that were identical to a gasoline mileage of 135 miles per gallon. Despite a federal tax credit of $7,500 for purchasing an electric vehicle, the Roadster's cost of $109,000 made it a luxury item. It was far from a successful vehicle program by most conventional standards. It was late, had a difficult rollout with many production problems that led to changes, and roughly 2,400 units were delivered. However, no prosperity is ever achieved so easily. The company also faced many backlogs in the initial years when in late 2007, Eberhard resigned as CEO and president of technology and enlisted the advisory board of the company. It was later announced in 2008 that he had left the company, though he continued as a shareholder. Tarpenning, who was vice president of electrical engineering, supervising the development of electronic and software systems for the Roadster, also left the company in 2008. When the company was in such a critical situation, Musk was the only one who could bring it back on track. Musk then took over as CEO. And then in 2010, Tesla's initial public offering raised some $226 million. It was somehow working properly, but during November 2013, following news of a third Model S fire, Tesla's stock was knocked down by more than 20%. All of those Model S fires had evolved several minutes after the cars had struck significant road debris at high speeds, and all of the vehicles had given warnings to the tenants of serious battery damage, advising that an immediate stop was required. But despite the drop in stock price, Tesla was still the leading performer on the NASDAQ 100 index in 2013. In February 2014, Tesla generated $2 billion from bonds to build the first Gigafactory. Tesla was then attempting to sell 40,000 electric vehicles globally in 2014, adding China, Hong Kong, Japan, and Australia to the list of countries where it exports cars. But in November 2014, Tesla reduced its guidance on sales down to 33,000 units for 2014. 
In August 2015, Tesla put up $738 million in stock to build the Model X. The company kept on growing and bringing new models to the market, and then Model X was launched in September 2015. It was said to be a success for Tesla, but more was yet to come. In May 2016, Tesla raised $1.46 billion in stock to build the Model 3. By 2016, Tesla had raised over $4.5 billion since its IPO in 2010. And so the Model 3 was launched in June 2017. It also proved to be the successful one. The main reason behind the prosperity of the Model 3 is that it is simply a compelling electric car. It offers everything one would need, starting with a good range and high efficiency of the SR Plus version, strong acceleration, attractive look, tons of features, and support of an outstanding Tesla supercharging network. All the while, Elon Musk, the company's infamous CEO, was absorbed in his usual theatrics, like launching a roadster into orbit in 2018. And then the next year, 2019, crises began to rise. After opening at $310 on January 1st and attaining a high of $347, Tesla's stock price dropped considerably. It reached a year-to-date low of $178.97 in June. It was in many ways a tough year for the company. It had lost several crucial members of its executive team, including its CTO J.B. Strawbell, CFO Deepak Ahuja, and General Counsel Dane Butzwinkas. Tesla started 2019 by breaking off 7% of its employees and publicly pondered shutting most of its dealerships and laying off its retail employees in March. This directed to the conflicting projections for Tesla stock. Some analysts thought that the company has a pattern of cultural, leadership, and technical problems that will cause more serious problems in the long run. Others assume that the stock's dip reflects an overreaction by the market to short-term news, which has priced the company based more on Elon Musk's Twitter account than its actual value. But soon, Tesla's stock began rebounding in the second half of 2019 after hitting those lows. After finishing several months over $200, reports of much stronger-than-expected Q3 earnings sent the stock price surging. Share prices improved to rise through the remainder of 2019 as things continued to go well for the company. Orders for its upcoming Cybertruck, Musk's defamation trial ending in his favor, and then the stock closed in 2019 at over $418 per share. It is hard to understate how significant this moment was for the company. Tesla has proved that manufacturing luxury electric vehicles could be an achievable long-term business. And talking about the sales, the numbers were unbelievable. The global sales passed 250,000 units in September 2017. And then in the next year, 2018 Tesla produced its 300,000th vehicle. Tesla's global sales keep touching the sky and soon obtained the 500,000 unit milestone in December 2018. That acceleration got even stronger in 2020, and as reports of yet another massively successful quarter came in, shares flooded to phenomenal levels. By February 4th, Tesla had surpassed a stock price of $900, more than double its price when the year started just a month before. On March 9, 2020, the company produced its one millionth electric car. That was a great achievement for the company. Tesla came a long way in countering many obstacles in its journey. However, Musk never gave up and always aimed for success. Tesla has announced several models to be released early in the 2020s, including a second edition of the Roadster, a semi-trailer truck, and a pickup truck. The Cybertruck, which had a boxy angular design that thrilled the controversy when it first was unveiled. Barriers will keep coming in the way, but Musk has never learned to stop and hence continuing its voyage to achieve more success in the upcoming years continues. Well, apart from our expectations and opinions, what do you think about the history of Tesla? Did it interest you? Let us know in the comments below. And most importantly, if you like this video, then hit the like button, subscribe and click the bell icon to get a notification every time we make a new video about the latest trends in Tesla stocks. See you in the next one.